How are we doing today, guys? So, welcome back. Gino's Let's Plays. We are starting something new today. We are starting something I have only beaten once. And it is a game that is actually older than me. I was born in 1997. It came out in 1995 or 6, one of the two. And we're going to try and beat it again. There is a new game in the series that comes out, a remake of it. It's called Diablo 2 Resurrected. It comes out September 23rd. So, we're going to play Diablo 1, Diablo 2, beat those, and then get into Resurrected. Now, let's, let's just get into Diablo 1 and we'll break it down from there. So the version of Diablo 1 that we will be playing, because it is a game that is hard to obtain at the time, is the version on GOG Galaxy right here, right? This is Diablo plus Hellfire, all that good stuff. So it comes with uh, Diablo, which has online features and a high resolution support. Diablo Classic, Hellfire, which is the expansion. And that's the one we're going to be doing here. So... Why Hellfire, George? Why not just Classic? It makes the game a little bit easier in a sense. And... It, it, it definitely it definitely helps. It, it adds a higher... It adds the ability for you to level up a little bit higher than usual. Um, and you're gonna need it. This game is terribly hard, right? So, Warrior, as much as I'd love to, I think is gonna be too difficult. There's the Rogue. Which is the only character I've ever beaten it with. Sorcerer. Who is a glass cannon. And the monk. Who I've actually... I've never been the monk. And looking at it, he's very well-rounded. Might be worth being. The monk. Hmm. I think ultimately... We're going to beat it as the warrior. We're going to try it, at least. It is extremely hard. But... We're going to try it. Very hard game. Uh, we are not going to be doing it Nightmare or Hell. It's honest, I don't know how people even beat this stuff. Because you have to start with nothing. You don't beat the game and then go into Nightmare and Hell. And I, yeah, it's just, no. We're gonna go normal. It's already hard enough on normal. It's that beautiful town music. As you can see, with the expansion, they added you to be able to move faster, stuff like that. So let's just break down the game mechanics for a second here, right? You have your weapon, shield, helmet slot, armor slot, amulet, and two ring slots, right? They give you two weapons at the beginning of the game, which is interesting. And then you have your, here we go, your stat screen. Strength, magic, dexterity, vitality. Boom. Experience, gold, armor class, ratio to hit, which is going to be the first thing we're going to focus on, raising a bunch. Damage, resistances, life mana. Resistances we don't have to worry about until much later when we start fighting elemental stuff. So I think the course of action is get the hit ratio up so we hit things and uh, everything else is last. Now, let's go forward here. Let's actually talk to some people. We are going to be doing a slow playthrough and actually talking to everyone Hello, here. my friend. Hello. Stay a while and listen. I know of many myths and legends that may contain answers to questions that may arise in your journeys into the labyrinth. Okay. If you come across challenges and questions to which you seek knowledge, seek me out, and I will tell you what I can. Awesome. Okay, very helpful. Love it. Um, how about this guy down here? Farm the drunk. Can't a fellow drink in peace? I know you got your own ideas, and I know you're not gonna believe this. But that weapon you got there, you just ain't no good against those big brutes. Oh, I don't care what Griswold says. 
They can't make anything like they used to in the old days. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Fair assessment. Let's go talk to Griswold. Oh, what can I do for you? Hello. Can you? Oh, I can't talk to Well, I have to practically smuggle in the metals and tools I need from caravans that skirt the edges of our damned town. That witch Adria always seems to get whatever she needs. If I knew even the smallest bit about how to harness magic as she did, I could make some truly incredible things. Hmm. Okay. So we have a witch outside of town. Thank goodness you returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. Oh, okay. All was peaceful so until the Dark here. Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. <clears throat> Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith <coughs> shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. I like this guy's voice actor. I like it. What ails you, my friend? Up? Even my skills have been unable to fully heal Farnham. Oh, I have been able to mend his body, but his mind and spirit are beyond anything I can do. So Farnham was hurt. Sorry, I've actually never really cared about the lore or like story of this game at all. So I'm gonna try and we're gonna try and get into that a Good little day. bit. Hello. How may I serve you? My grandmother had a dream that you would come and talk to me. She has visions, you know, and can see into the future. Oh, love that. Okay. 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 Hey, Gillian. Jillian, whatever your name is. All right, so we're going to go to the edge of town. We're going to talk to the witch, and there's one more person we can talk to. Here we go, Adria the witch. I sense a soul in search of answers. Not wrong. The greatest power is often the shortest lived. You may find ancient words of power written upon scrolls of parchment. The strength of these scrolls lies in the ability of either apprentice or adept to cast them with equal ability. Their weakness is that they must first be read aloud and can never be kept at the ready in your mind. Know also that these scrolls can be read but once, so use them with care. Okay. The greatest power. Okay, it's just the same thing. Nice. All right. <clears throat> now, we're not going to be doing much magic. I don't think I'm going to be using any skills whatsoever, skill points in the beginning of the game to up magic. But if we do find books of healing, or a book of town teleportation, or even a book of searching, I might pump a couple points in there to be able to use those. And our last boy here. Psst, over here. If I were a few years older, I would shower her with whatever riches I could muster. And let me assure you, I could get my hands on some very nice stuff. Jillian is a beautiful girl who yeah. should get out of Tristram as soon as it is safe. Hmm, maybe I'll take her with me when I go. Hey, Jillian got a crush on me, okay? She said her mother had a dream that I would talk to her. Okay, and I made that dream come true. So I don't want to hear it, Peglug. Alright, let's go into the, uh... To the church. And we have the butcher quest line. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him. So that our souls may finally rest. Your death will be avenged. Love it. Alright. We'll talk to the townspeople about the butcher the once we uh, this place has been fouled. get back to town to sell stuff. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this thing. Yeah, we want to get that hit ratio up. Now, the biggest struggle in Diablo 1, from what I remember, especially in the beginning of the game, and kind of like into mid-game, is that you can 
run out of money. And that, and in the beginning of the game, like, you could play carefully so you don't have to use health potions because you'll definitely level up before you need to. But if you play stupid, you'll waste these health potions. And the reason health potions are important, even to such an extreme, to not having to use them for probably like the first 10 level ups, is that if you lock yourself out of money, which I don't believe I will do, I mean, you won't be able to buy health potions. You won't be able to do much of, you know what I mean? Ooh, a cap. Very nice. Get over here. Now, what else? Ooh! Take that. Take that. Thank you. Just got one guy? What do we got in here? Oh, oh my god. Okay, we are getting some amazing drops. This is crazy. Book of Healing. Perfect. I'll take the one to eight, actually. Okay. Wow, we already found a book of healing. Still gonna focus on dexterity for hit ratio because it maxes out at a low level. It maxes it out, I think, at 60. Um, but we're gonna focus on that first because if we're able to hit everything, I think by the time you're in hell, you need a hit ratio that's higher than like 120%, which we'll get there with gear. But we'll focus on it rather right away. No, no, no. That's level two already. Sick. Let's see. What are some short-term goals we got? It'd be nice to find a scimitar. It does... I think it does four to eight damage. And you can find it relatively early. Like level one or level two. If you're lucky. Um, and there's actually a... A pretty decent drop. At least I've had. With... Uh, getting a rare scimitar, which does a like real nice amount of damage. I think it comes with one uh, one bad affix on it, though. Which is a really cool thing about Diablo One that they took away in Diablo Two, is that like you can find a unique item which gives you a bunch of bonuses, and you're like, oh, this is amazing, and it can have like a bunch of bonuses and one fat, just like yeah, that kind of sucks, you know, like. Minus 10 to energy. But hey, if you're not a mage, it's not that bad. Okay, there's our first level up. Now the main reason why I did not want to do the mage is... that enemies in this game have resistances to magic which means you have to get really good at hot king and that is just something i'm not good at in this game so i didn't want to worry about it dexterity magic strength so i think our main focus would be dexterity vitality strength obviously um let's get this up dexterity does help armor class as well which is nice Oil of sharpness that increases damage. I don't know if that is. I would assume that that's going to be. Um, for like a duration and not permanently. Ow. And. Okay, this is not good. Let's see. Uh, clear out this dead end. And I don't think the butcher's until level three, level two or three, one of the, one of the two. But after we clear all the levels, probably I'll uh, probably just clear the level he's in. We should be fine, fight him, depending on what our gear looks like. But right now, all these monopods, maybe I'll sell. And then oath we'll just toss in the ground so we can keep for safe's keeping. Get over here. Anything in here? No. Alright. Whew. 
Another thing that's going to be a pain is you can find these... I guess you can call them shrines. I think that's what they're called. And they could give you a buff. They could give you a nerf. It's really random. And you don't know what they give you. It's just kind of a riddle. So with that being said, we are going to be probably just looking those up online to make sure that we're not getting something terrible. Because there are ones that you would want to save. I know there's definitely one where it, uh, ooh, potion. Get that guy. Where it permanently increases your weapon's max damage, which is insane, and you can find it really early. So it's something you definitely want to like make note of and come back towards the late game when you think you found your weapon that you're going to kind of beat the game with and just, you know, buff that. We haven't found anything yet, which is surprising. Am I close to a level up here? Pretty close. Hey, boys. Get over here. Get the zombie. Another staff. Wow. There's the level up. Alright, I was about to say. Very nice. Um, what do we want to get into here? I tell you this already. I'm gonna just save it. Yeah, we'll save it for now. Alright. No, most of this level cleared out already. That's where I came from. Okay, that's all dead ends. So Finish up the rest of this level. Inventory's looking quite full. But we do have some real junky items. Now, one thing I'm gonna have to struggle with, and it's just all dependent on what kind of gear we find, is buying gear. Because buying gear in this game, I think, is it's act like money is worth a lot. Diablo 2 money's not really worth too much. But in Diablo 1, money is worth so much. And every level, I believe this is how it works, at least how it seems to work. Every level you get deeper into the game, the Griswold will have a more expansive... Too much baggage. Clubs aren't worth nothing. I think a bow is worth more. Um, Griswold will expand his inventory of magical items, which are gonna be what you want pretty right so we'll make sure to take a look at it every level but i gotta make sure not to waste my money on stuff that we'll definitely find it's like scimitar for example i could buy a white one and it won't be too much it might be like 50 bucks but i know sooner or later i'm gonna walk into one right so i, I won't waste the money but if I find like a shield and it has like plus three to all skills, we're snatching it. It's just such a this is just such a low percentage you'll find something like that, right? Now if we find like a weapon with increased hit chance, that I might skip, because you do find those fairly often. And we're gonna be using an exploit later in the game. By pretty much by safe scumming. Um, to get really nice gear, but we need a lot of money to be able to do it. Now, when it comes to exploits like, uh, like m glitching money and stuff like that, we're not doing any of that. Um, but save scumming, I feel like, is necessary to, necessary to even get close to beating this game. Very nice. All right. I think we found a good amount of money. Yeah, 500. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Short I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Yeah. The thing about the beginning of the game is white items are not worth much at all. 
But what is it worth? Absolutely nothing. Club is worth absolutely nothing. These will actually be pretty good. Two swords or what a bow? I think two swords would be better than just a bow. Okay, that's the whole first level. Not bad. We're at about two and a half levels. Next, we'll be going to level two. We're going to go back, sell some of the stuff real quick, and go forward. Now, if I was a mage, I'd be pissed because no, we got no, um, no books, no new spells. And that just gets, that's too stressful. So first things first, let's sell. Hey. Whoa, what can I do for you? Short bow, 25 bucks. Cool. Oil of accuracy. Hey, we might keep that, actually. That might come to some use. Okay, so the swords are worth way, but way more. Um, blacksmith oil, we'll keep. Shh. Oh, blacksmith oil is that. Yeah, keep that stuff. Now, basic items. Let's see. Quoted armor, leather armor. We'll find something good enough later. Saber, 1 to 8. Mace, 1 to 8. He doesn't even sell his scimitar at the moment. Premium items. Fine shield, 22% armor, 2 to strength. Eh. Hit chance, 3% trash. Quick attack is really nice. Sword of readiness. That might be a scimitar with the 4 to 8. That's actually really nice. Consider buying. If we don't find a scimitar. Really nice. Rags, terrible. Robe of dexterity, not bad. This is actually pretty nice for the beginning of the game, man. It's only 400 bucks. That's worth considering, like, right now. Ring of the Sky, three to all skills. That's really nice. Armor. Chance to hit three to all skills. That's a dagger, though. Yeah. Okay. With that being done, we have a skill where it repairs things, but it lowers their durability, which is fine at the moment because we're not really going to be keeping this gear, so we might as well just use that. All right, let's talk to people about this Turn butcher. Foul, peace. Big, big cleaver, killing all my friends. Couldn't stab him. Had to run away. Couldn't save them. Okay. Trapped in a room with so many bodies. So many friends. <laughs> Sorry, farm. Jeez. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Love it. It seems that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son. He played upon their fears, okay. whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors to die. All right, well, Lazarus seems like a dick. Like a real dick. Well, what can I do for you? I saw what Farnham calls the butcher. Okay. As it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons, and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again, but his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day. Jeez. Not bad. I like the writing. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Yes. Farnham has mumbled something about a hulking brute who wielded a fierce weapon. I believe he called him a butcher. Okay. I don't know if we're going to get any more information, really. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Oh. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Okay. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly <clears throat> running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. Yeah, you got it, man. What ails you, my friend? By the light I know of this vile demon. 
There were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. Okay. We got a water supply thing to talk about, too. Okay, we'll go back to this. We'll go with the Gillian. Good day. How may I serve you? Gillian? Took when Farnham said something about a butcher killing people, I immediately discounted it. But since you brought it up, maybe it is true. All right, what about the water? My grandmother is very weak, and Garda says that we cannot drink the water from the wells. Please, can you do something to help us? Hey, I'll try. The well mission's pretty nice. Um, Greetings, good master. Welcome to the town. We're gonna get a ring from sun. it, which will be nice. I have always tried to keep a large supply of foodstuffs and drink in our storage cellar, but with the entire town having no source of fresh water, even our stores will soon run dry. Please do what you can, or I don't know what we will do. You got it, boss. How do you wow, feel about the water, Griswold? You probably you? drink it anyways, strong man. Heaven has told ye the truth. We will need fresh water badly, and soon. Uh, I've tried to clear one of the smaller wells, but it reeks of stagnant filth. It must be getting clogged at the source. I love his accent. Filth! As you can see, the well is yellow now. Uh, Farnum, you got any, anything you a fellow <laughs> drinking peace? useful? <laughs> you drink water? Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Talk to the witch. We gotta sell our staves to her. See what she has to say. Peglag, we'll talk to him too. I sense a soul in search of answers. St see the staff? So where are you gonna make your money? Take that. Staff of no staff of healing. 17 magic required. Same as eh, we don't need it. Scroll, scroll, scroll. those okay cool it's just to clean up oh look at that it looks nice so in this game you don't have a stash surprisingly and uh even in the hellfire mod they, they don't give you one which is a little surprising to me so i'm just gonna drop this stuff on the floor it always stays there which is nice so we'll just do that uh, let's talk to our boy peg lug See what he has to say about all this stuff. Psst, over here. Yeah. I know more than you think about that grizzly fiend. Okay. His little friends got a hold of me and managed to get my leg before Griswold pulled me out of that hole. Mm. I'll put it bluntly. Kill him before he kills you and adds your corpse to his collection. For once, I'm with you. My business runs dry, so to speak, if I have no market to sell to. You better find out what is going on. Okay. So, with Pegleg, it costs you 50 gold to see one item that he has. And the item changes every time you load into the game. Um, but these items do tend to be really good. They're blue items like Griswold carries, but they have really nice um, FXs to them. So we have two missions. Real nice. All right, let's go to the second level. I think we'll just, yeah, we'll do that. I want to get this to 70, and then we'll worry about getting our health and getting our strength up. Ooh. Oh, hidden. are worth like five bucks I think oh god three hits come on boys come on boys are they get experience at least hello oh they're really nice experience oh my god they're like 300 a pop that should be level up 
Oh, don't disappear on me. Look at this. They're invisible. And if they do get hit, they run away. There we go. Where's the last one? Is there anything here? No, it's just enemies. Come on, dude. Two and three goes up by percentage for every five points. We'll wait. All right. Just zombies. And more unseen. Get over here. Okay. Yeah, I do not like these unseen guys. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. It's a lot of boys. I think blunt weapons do increase damage to skeletons if I'm mistake if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's actually a thing in this game. That's why they give you a choice between uh, for the warrior, they give you a short sword and they give you a club. Another staff. Lightning wall. I suspect that's gonna be worth some money. You got anything here? Ooh, you got a book. Skeleton tome. Interesting. I wonder if that gives us the quest for Skeleton King, or if that's just an interesting room. All right, we'll clear out this area, and then we'll go that way. Okay. Hello? Hello? Anyone here? Got another skeleton stone. Okay, so that's not for the. Uh... Okay, good. Rags are absolute trash. I think they're worth like literally nothing, and they have the worst durability. Not bad defense though. Let's kill this guy. No blue items yet. Which is a little concerning. Hey guys. Okay. You get over here, come get smacked. Alright. Here we go. Let's watch that experience climb up. These guys give me a hundred a pop. we got in here? Scroll of Identity, not bad. Book of Holy Bolt. Holy Bolt, I think it's 250 bucks, or we can save up to actually learn it. It's only 20 magic. We'll see. Ooh. We have a unique enemy. That unique's gonna be our first chance at a, uh... At a, at a blue item. And if we're really lucky, a, a gold item. Nope. And it was a bow. God damn it. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Not that we can't use a bow. But it's just not as useful. We're already really full. I don't think I have scrolls of town teleportation yet, no. Alright. Hmm. Two to all attributes? Honestly, it's probably better just to sell it for the money. We'll do that. Anyone here? Oh, we got close room, close room. So we got another tomb here. Alright, let's go back. Let's sell this stuff.
All right, back in town. Whoa, what Let's can I do uh, for you? sell. Cape is two dollars. Wow. Bow seven twenty-five. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go sell our two staffs. Lightning wall is one of them, so that might be worth some money. I don't. I don't know too much about magic, but I would imagine lightning wall is pretty advanced for level two. I sense a soul in search of answers. It's okay. We'll keep that. That's all we got. All right. We'll toss the book on the floor. We'll probably sell it later, but we'll toss it on the floor for now. All right, back to level two we go. Back in level two we are. Um, I believe we will be able to do the water mission in level two, and then I think the butcher is in level three. Um, so, which means we'll get a nice ring before we have to deal with the butcher. I forgot. If the ring's random in what it gives you, or if it's always the same. I think it's always the same. I'm pretty sure it's a gold ring. Ow. Yeah. That's level three. Skeleton. Okay, here we go. Did I level up again? My health just shot up. What is that? V? Did it tell me what version I'm playing? Oh, I did level up again. Sick. Just for... Ooh, town teleporter, which is nice. Alright. We got two level up now. Inferno. Another skeleton tomb. We got anything else in here? We got something here. No, just a uh, lamp. No. Ooh, we got another boss. We got another boss, boys. We got another chance at a nice blue item. Come on, guys. Oh, just walk into my range. Keep the boss away, though. The hungry. A cloak a golden cloak? I don't think I've ever found a golden cloak before. Holy Oh, I think this is gonna give bonuses to magic and probably a nerf to physical damage, which is the opposite of what we need, but we'll see. We'll see. I won't count it out just yet. If anything, bonus to magic won't be too bad because we'll be able to use our books right away. We'll be able to, if you get a fat bonus to magic, like 10 points or something like that, we'll be able to use the books right away. We'll see. Oh, but I'm not, ugh. It could have been better, but it is what it is. I'll take it. Saber. Does the same damage that we do right now. Is that another... Is a bookshelf area? It's another skeleton tomb. I've never found this many little skeleton tombs. Very interesting. So Diablo 1 was one of the first games uh, we owned as a kid. <laughs> Surprisingly, I think we saw it at like Target on CD for the computer and uh, we were just like dad dad we want this we want this because it looks cool and my dad's like all right here you go then i think he opened it and played it a little bit i was like this is stupid because it's really difficult and then me and dimitri my brother would just play it and get destroyed but it was fun oh man and like i said i've never actually beaten it until uh this year actually um, and that was with the rogue, and I think the reason why I was drawn to beating it with the rogue is that with the bone you can attack from far away. There's certain animal uh, enemies that will use bow and arrow, and they're so hard to track down and to hit. And with obviously a bow and arrow, you don't have to track them down and hit them uh, manual, like melee wise. So maybe, with that being said, we'll keep a bow. 
That way, if we do run into them, we can, uh... I'm sick of you. I've hit you like three times already. That way we don't have to chase them down. Guaranteed book. Telekinesis. Useless. Telekinesis will be money. Oh, I'm really excited to see what this gold cloak brings us. What's our... Our stash is looking pretty full, but we can drop some stuff like this saber. We got a lot of scrolls, too. So we'll clear this area out, go back, sell some stuff, and then we'll go get the fresh water thing done. Go back, get the crust reward, sell some stuff, and then go to level 3. Let's see what we got here. Oh, man, but honestly... Gold find? There's a lot of enemies here. Gold find this early in the game? Really nice. Maybe these hidden guys aren't so bad because they do give a lot of experience. I mean, a lot. There we go. Come on. Someone walk in here. I think it's just zombies left that aren't that dangerous. Alright, so this is, yeah, that's gonna be for the water mission. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Saber's probably worth more than a short sword. Nothing. Anything here? Nothing. Let's see what else we got. Uh, enemies. Oh, I guess the butcher is in level two. Uh oh. Okay, we're about to level up. Usually when I... This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. There we go. Come on, I'm like two kills away, two kills away. Your one kill. Where's my next kill? Yeah, you could tell. You could tell that's the butcher's room, can't you? Eh? There it is. All right. All right. Man, there's a lot of enemies here. Like, this is a really dense level 2. Like, really dense level 2. We're already level 6. Too much baggage. I oh, can't no. carry anymore. Oh, no. We do have a town teleporter. You know what? We're just going to use one of these. Why not? Let's get it. Alright. First things first. Let's figure out what this robe is. I think Hello, my friend. We have Stay a while and rags listen. as well, so that's done. Rags plus three to vitality is not bad for rags, but the durability is really low. One to all skills, ten to all resistance, ten to hit points. High durability, armor class ten. A lot better than what I thought it was actually going to be. Wow. Health's going up. One to all skills. You can't see it because I have to put my points in. Armor class goes up and resistances go up nicely. This is not bad through the vitality, but the, the durability is what's really bad on there. Um, dude, that was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Whoa, what this is can nice. I do this for is you? nice. Let's see what we got to sell. Accuracy, sharpness, blacksmith. The rags we can sell, they're not worth that much because of the low durability. What's our money looking like right now? We got a fat stack, okay. Two and some. I sense a soul in search of answers. Staff of Infernal, sell that. These are all scrolls, healing, town porter identification, book of telekinesis, we don't need fat stack for that. A lot of scrolls, a lot of potions. Okay, we're gonna toss some of these scrolls and potions on the floor because it's taking up a lot of inventory and we should probably 
put some of these attributes in. Let's do that. Let's do some vitality. And let's do some strength. We have the butcher, which means we'll get his weapon. Which is really good. However, it takes two hands. But since our weapon and our shield at the moment is pretty trash, that's fine. You know? You know what? That's absolutely fine. Scrolls, water, healing, healing. 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 Searching. And okay. What's this over here? Where's this? Searching as well. Okay. Cool. Let's go back. Let's grab those potions on the floor, that scroll. I think... I think I will wait to do the Butcher and Toe after we do the uh, Water Quest. <laughs> Corpses, no item inside. Alright, let's clear this last area it looks like over here. Get this water done. Is that an enemy? No. Where'd it go? Buckler. Get it over here. Holy boat staff. I might stop. No, staffs are worth it. They're like 200 something bucks. Yeah. For the beginning of the game so far, we're doing exceptionally well. We don't have the greatest of weapons, but it is going to be getting better. And you can see the one to all stats now. And these, these hidden... Is that what they're called? Yeah. Really nice. Just such nice XP. With this, I put some in the strength, right? Yeah, that strength gave us some more attack, which is nice for hitting. We're doing three to ten instead of one to eight now, which is really nice. All right, that's the last guy. Rags, we're good on that. Take the town portal. Portal. All right. Butcher, we will we will do that at the end of this video. First, let's get into the uh, Dark Passage. The scary thing about the Dark Passage is there are... Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. There are go enemies, which can be dangerous because they hit hard and they hit fast. And they have a lot of health. Yeah, I guess so do those guys. Other thing about the Dark Passage is you get these angles where it's hard to see. You know what? Let's save just in case as well. The thing about these guys, they always scram when you kill one of them. Okay. Oh man, they're so fast. Oh my lord. And they're hard to hit. Honestly, I just kind of want to die. Just kill me. Yeah, just kill me. We'll, we'll load. We'll load. Okay. Wow. Is my hit chance that bad? I just can't fucking... I just can't touch that guy? This is gonna be an issue. I think there's only like two, two or three of them down here. Like... 
Shouldn't be that bad. Come on. These guys giving me much experience. What are they giving me? Like 200 a pop? Is that like 150? Yeah, just about 150 a pop. Go, Kai. Go, Kai. Yeah, I got them both again. I hit him once. And this is bad because the other dude. Got him. Okay, we only have to hit him three times. Which is the same as. These guys, they just do so much damn damage. We're close to a level up. I'm not gonna waste the potion. We are gonna save like crazy though. Okay. We are close to leveling, and our health is looking mighty low. But we got this. See that guy at all? We're so close, just give me that level up. Shit. Nice block on me, beautiful. away from a level up just a couple kills away I think that's the well don't mind this this is our level up right here maybe we might just be a touch short yeah we'll be one kill short won't we hello that will be our level up come on And this is that one enemy that's going to be so annoying because they just run. They're impossible to hit. We got them. Beautiful. However, our things really not filled that. <laughs> our inventory is not filled that much, so I'd feel bad to go back to town and waste that. What do we got here? 13 gold pieces. Give me that. <clears throat> do we just take on the butcher right away? I don't know. With that pathetic display of... Uh, not being able to do much to these guys, I think. Get that up to 70. We do have a lot of healing. Our damage isn't the greatest to say, like, you know, a uh, scimitar would be nice, but we're also about to get an amazing weapon anyways. We'll go back to town, get our ring, get healed fully by the, by the healer, and then we'll take on this butcher. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Let's go back to town. Who gives us the reward? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the, the tavern water. of the rising. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and oh, listen. This guy probably does. What's that you say? The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly, a great evil lurks beneath our town. Ring of truth. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. Thank you, buddy. All right. Uh, actually, can you what heal me? You, my Thank friend? you. 
Let's go to you. Hello, my friend. Identify Stay this bad boy. And listen. So what do we got here? 10 more, 10 more, minus one. That actually goes very nice with this. Wow, okay, let's look at the difference here. Hit points go up by 10, resistances go up by another 10. That's really nice. Honestly, this is, I'm surprised we have this this early in the game. My other character that you saw me delete earlier um, was in level like, what, 18? She didn't even have, she had no resistances. Um, all these scrolls. Sell the staff, go kill the butcher. Are we ready for the butcher level seven? I think we could do it. We'll definitely need to heal a bunch. I sense a soul in search of answers. But I don't believe we can do it. Okay, let's see what Griswold's inventory looks like. If the scimitar is only like 50 bucks, I'll waste that 50 bucks to have an easier butcher fight, to be honest. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, by basic. Bauschen, that's what it's called, not a scimitar. 250, oof. But it's literally such a nicer attack. Oof, I don't know if that's worth it. Premium. Ring is now down here, because we've went up a couple levels. Shield of Might is nice. Tender Strength. Jesus. Steel's Mana, that's kind of cool. Light Radius. Wow, a lot of those are trash. Um, you know what? Do I want to do it? We'll do it. It's only 250. It's not bad. And I'll take that little Whoa, buff. What can I do for you? Be honest. So it was only 200. Okay. That's nice. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Oh, man. on that bad boy. Fresh meat. He doesn't do too much damage. Come on, hit him. Killed him. Fuck. There it is. The spirits of the dead are now avenged. Three potions, not bad. And we got his cleaver. Which ten of strength, low durability, but a lot of damage. And if we put that sucker on, I mean, seven to twenty-seven. It's kind of hard. Be, especially when both our other items are so low um, and they don't really do much for us. That's actually really nice. Let's fix these hotkeys a little bit. Yeah. Let's go into level three a little bit. Let's just explore it. Let's see what we got down here. I don't think we get a bone of like a reward for the butcher other than like his axe that we have. Nothing much yet. Hello? You just one shot everything, it's and those nuts. 
Hey guys. Hey, 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 hey. One at a time, one at a time. As long as I can hit you, you're dead. Oh, a blue falchion. That could be really nice. Because as you see, we take a lot of damage. I'm kind of playing dumb, but we don't have a chance to block, which is something we will for sure need later in the game. Skeleton 2? Let's do it. I would like these the regular libraries though. I mean, books are gonna give us way more Morning Star. Morning Star might be worth like a good 350. <laughs> these guys used to take three hits, now they take one. Gotta love it. What is this? Phasing? I don't even know what that is. I think phasing is the one that teleports you randomly somewhere in the map. To full health. Okay. Like Smith oil? Okay, worth nothing. I totally thought that rope was going to give us, like, magic this, and it was just going to be not that useful. I'm so glad it was. We're doing it splendidly well. Come on, guys. Come into the come into the cleavering. Who's the new butcher now, huh? This added confidence is making me play stupidly. Come on. Come get some. Come get some. Come get some. Oh, we're fighting dark ones. I thought that's what I saw. Almost to that level up. Cool. Anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, the dark ones are a little hard to hit, that's for sure. They have the nice mechanic of running away when you kill something. Definitely a little bit on the harder side to hit. Good XP though. Get over here. Yeah, we're gonna have to continue to up that dexterity. Oh my god, that was almost death. Oh, take a rune. Another maze. Take it. Alright. Alright. Too much baggage. Another maze. <laughs> Alright, let's go sell stuff. And we'll call it there. Bring this up to hit chance. Oh, look at that axe, dude. Look how beautiful that thing is. Jesus. Oh, Hello, geez. my friend. Stay a while and listen. One of magic, so absolute trash. Well, what can I do for you? All right. We got a lot of stuff. Morningstar, there's 75 a pop. That's actually... Oh, no. I had a lot of maces, not Morningstars.
What ails you, my friend? Do that. Butcher's dead. No one wants to say anything about well, that. What can I do for you? All that. What else are you selling now? That rings off the tables. But we got anything helm? That'd be nice. Brilliant armor of stability. That is actually pretty damn nice. Shield, magic resistance, nothing. Okay. Let's go sell the rest. So, as of right now, we are looking splendid. Level 8. Levels are going to be starting to go a little bit slower now. Um, we got three rare items. We got the lucky rare robe that dropped. Very lucky. The cleaver, which we knew we would get. And then the ring, which we knew we would get. But it's all going together very, very well. Um, what are we selling here? I have a staff, don't I? Scroll of Inferno. Can't use it anyways. Can't even use that lightning rune. All right. Inventory is still a little bit full because of all these scrolls and magic potions. But yeah, we're looking good. We're going to go over gear. Yeah, I know what the game plan is. I think we are still a little late for... That's healing. These are searching, searching. Healing. Fat health potion will save. Portal. Scrolls of searching. Which will actually come in handy later in the game for sure. Do that. Alright, so let's look what we got. We could get a better cap, hat, helm, whatever. That'd be nice. Very nice for the moment, but it would be better to get a good weapon plus a good shield. Would yield us better than this but for the time being it's nice this will last a while armor class is 10 one to all attributes which isn't that great but it, it's it's cool 10 resistances is nice the five to hit points is nice um so overall pretty good pretty good it'll be a while maybe a couple levels so we find something that might be able to outdo this the ring, 10 hit points, minus 1 damage from all enemies, and resistances to all, very nice. Probably won't replace this for a really long time. If we were to find something that was like 7 to all attributes, yeah. But this is nice, and we still don't have an amulet, which will probably take a while to get something. Um, yeah, that's it for uh, this episode of Diablo 1 Hellfire. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It is a classic, classic, um, but it is difficult. So we'll see if we can do it. This, this is just the beginning, and the beginning is really easy compared to what is to come. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notifications for the latest drops as soon as they drop. I'll see you guys in the next one. Maybe I guess, why am I reloading? This isn't Call of Duty! Wait, does that pause it? I'm guessing it does. No, it does not! Oh my god, I don't want to walk towards her. I'm closing my eye. Oh, it's worse! We're just running. Ooh! Oh my god!